G'day, I'm Brett. I'm upgrading my suspension on my Land Rover Defender with a set of Coney Raid 90 dampers. These are considered to be one of the ultimate shock absorbers available. They are a twin tube design with a huge body size of 70 millimeters, a shaft diameter of 18, and a piston size of 42 millimeters. The outer tube is 2.5 millimeters thick, built to withstand damage from rocks. They are a full hydraulic shock with a large oil capacity allowing for greater cooling and efficiency and come with an adjustable rebound to adapt the damping to your springs or load or to restore damping after many thousands of kilometres of use. These conies can also be reconditioned. They are a straight replacement with no modification necessary when fitted to a standard suspension. Just look at the size difference between my original shocks and the new conies. Price wise I hope you're sitting down because they are quite expensive but you get what you pay for. So it's been four years since I installed my Coney Rake 90s on my Defender. In that time, I've traveled 58,000 kilometers, which included a 30,000 kilometer solo trip around Australia. So let's take a quick look at some of the footage from that trip to show you the conditions that the Coney's were used under. And the results are I'm absolutely happy with my purchase. The Coney Raid 90s have performed virtually flawlessly over the last four years. I could travel really corrugated tracks like out on the Unidata or heading into Lake Eyre or lots of really rough sand dune country and the shocks would only ever be warm to very warm to the touch which just goes to show the amount of oil capacity really helps dissipate that heat which should mean a much longer service life. For adjustment, the shocks can be adjusted for the rebound damping force. I found the rear ones to be a little bit soft from the factory, so I've adjusted those clockwise around one to three half turns from memory. Probably around two to three, and that helped match my heavy duty Land Rover Springs front and rear much better. The only two issues I encountered were some rear lower shock bushes failing due to installation error by the company I paid to install them for me. They used the incorrect bushes for my car as the kit comes with two different types. So I've changed those over to the correct bushes and I've had no issues since. I also had a rear spring pop out when I was under full extension. I think this may have been caused by the shocks being long travel with an extra 40 millimeters. So I'm thinking that it may have just been just that enough to allow the shock, allow the spring to pop out of its seating. But this was easily rectified and I put some dislocation cones in the rear just to protect this from any, any future occurrence. Otherwise, they performed excellently. I have, no, have had no other issues with them. And when the day does come, I can get them rebuilt in Australia. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Visit my website roamingtheoutback.com for Australian travel destinations, vehicle preparation ideas and gear reviews. If you'd like to help support the creation of new videos, please consider becoming a Patreon. Click on the Patreon button on the screen now. Thanks.